Hey, how's it going, comrades? And welcome back to Victoria 2 Rise Mother Russia campaign and, you know, how we just dominated Western Europe. As you guys saw in the last episode during the legendary Great War, Austria expanded a lot more. Austria is now uh, a rising great power. Germany is on the decline because of their poor alliance making and decision making and all that good stuff. And the UK pretty much doesn't have any lethal allies it could call upon. Their military is mostly garbage at this point because for the most part, all they use to defend their home islands, I'm guessing, is mostly reserves. And we just slaughtered a bucket ton of them in the last episode. So let's unpause the game and continue on from there. All right, so... Let's go back to building those steamer transports once again. Due to them being cut down uh, when they were shipping during the war. Alright, so right now we're just going to go for a different economic uh, styling right now. We're going to uh, tax and tear for a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we have to make up some um, loss of income from the previous wars. I wish we had the uh, Great War Capitulation, but we didn't receive that. I believe France is getting all the bonuses from that right now. How? Okay, how are you losing this, China? I'm, I'm gonna give you more subsidies because I feel bad for your incompetence. So now we have pretty much a 1,200-point lead on Britain always good how are you losing this war with Manchuria how how is this possible look at all of this send all of this up there it's not that difficult you're just sending like these small units and Manchuria is sending like 76,000 stacks to just crush those small units I'll give you some money just to help you out, but like, if you're gonna be incompetent with it, you're gonna take it away. Alright, so, most of these units are back here. Let's get you guys back over to some semblance of normalcy. Suffer some heavy casualties. But hey, that's the price for any war. Okay, head over here. So now, yep, China, you're just stupid. I don't feel bad for you. That was just an apocalyptic amount of stupidity on your part. All right. We can release Panama. Uh, I'm not gonna release all of that. What was that other na African nation I saw in here? I could have sworn it said something about Angola. I don't see it. this. Liberia wants to ally us. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Liberia. I don't really want to ally you. We already have someone down here. They're fine. So there. Our little dominion right here. Alright. So, as with any other great war, we suffer some pretty heavy casualties. Who is this? Okay. You go over here. You guys just need to recover all your manpower. And you guys stay right here. Yeah, just need to have some recovery ticks. Uh, 
curtail distribution. Air pressure of local government. Let's just get people to think yeah, about how we're going to perform some changes. So, yeah, that was a pretty eventful last episode. The Great War. Austria's rise to... What is going on now? What is going on? Okay, Italy wants to do this. And the benefit is they actually might win this war. Oh, what is this? Oil in West Galicia. Okay, this... Wait, let's unpause the game, see how this turns out. Okay, so... Uh, we're in a Kawiki dink right now. Austria was allied to France. France was called into the war against Italy. And now it is Italy against Austria and France. They are not going to be happy with this. I love France. France is has been my top dog, number one homeboy for the whole game. So Italy, like after that terrible war as you suffered with Austria, where you just couldn't get this, even though it was like a really one-on-one -on -one match, I don't feel sorry for you the least. So... I'm going to break my alliance with you. It, it just ain't worth keeping. And Austria will actually ally, ally me now. But, so... So since Austria has allied me again... I guess that means the shift of power... Yep, the shift of power has changed. Now... I'm gonna influence, go back to influencing Austria. Um, Germany's influencing the Ottoman. That's fine. I'm not gonna get too far ahead. Um, we don't really have to influence you right now. Our influence in Austria is. Wait, why are we gaining no influence here? What in the hell is that? Oh, wait. It, oh, it's because they're a great power. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. It's The game considers them a great power, I think. Let me see. Where is it? Oh, their population. Oh, yeah, because they snagged up all of these areas down here. Their pop, like, number has just boosted. So, I can't really um, sphere them anymore. Okay, okay. That is understandable. Um, oh well, back to Windward Coast. Just, <laughs> just like go back to putting some more points in the U. All right, Austria. Uh, I I I think the infamy is too high. Yeah, it does. I don't think Austria is gonna ask for anything. If they do, they may ask for one thing or something minor, but their infamy levels are too high. Montenegro. Got invaded, so they failed. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for Montenegro. All right, let's kick it up to speed three. International crisis in East Macedonia. Okay, I asked for peace like what? About two episodes ago, I asked for peace. I suffered through another massive great war, and now I'm about to get embroiled into another crisis. I'm gonna back the Ottomans because Ottomans, they've been loyal and. Italy is about to take something from Egypt. Yeah, Egypt, you are thoroughly fucked. I think that uh, Italy is going to go for a quarter fan. That's where their units are gathering at. Okay, so the crisis failed to list interest. Okay, that makes sense. Most of the principal great powers are at war. Italy is losing. Germany is in ninth place. Yeah, Germany, unless they come back in the next year or so, they're going to lose great power status. Israel's almost to the part where I need them to be. And the war is over already. Yeah, Italy just wasn't gaining anything. Wait, did Italy lose? just lose South Tyrol?
I can't remember. Did they have this? No, I don't think they have. I, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I gotta check the view the footage for that, but uh, I don't think uh, Austria, they may have taken South Tyrol. I don't think they did though. Yeah, okay, so it was just a basic war. Germany's in a war they can't complete nor finish, so that's cool. Except Krakow is invading Germany now. Germany has no military because of the uh, capitulation. Yep, and Italy is going to war for quarter fan. Italy's having better luck attacking African nations than they are <laughs> attacking like European ones. It's kind of messed up because Italy is usually one of those um, European nations that will just crush uh, Austria Hungary early on and just bully them and they eventually like sphere them. Okay, so you're at 5% in Moscow. Let's go to Tever. Holy crow. Can we raise some troops in India? I don't see why not. That's Europe. Oh, here we go. Look at all of these troops. I have all of you guys just become our first ever Indian army. Build some forts down here. Next time we go to war with uh, Britain, we'll probably go for Northern Bengal and probably British Pegu down here. Just have like this little coast to ourselves. The bank inspection boards are almost done. Uh, alliance offer from Yemen. Do you have anything I want? Aside from opium, not really. What about Oman? Oman usually is something. I don't know. I. I don't really like have that much of an ambition to spear the rest of the Middle East just yet. Um, no, I'm not giving you military access so you can bully um, some neighbors. This recovery thing is just like, holy crap. Let's build some, we're gonna need some not Africans. Get some more soldiers built so we can balance out the recovery. All right, so we got bank inspection board complete. Let us go for rail systems. Actually, what about here? Steel alloys. Could go for mass politics. Or experimental psychology. We should do this, do this. Yeah, let's get this one done because we do need to increase our reinforcement rates. Uh, look at this beautiful new border. An alliance offer from Japan. Owns core province. What in the hell are you talking about? Are you still like complaining about over here? I thought we settled that long ago, China. All right, China, you're starting to get on my nerves. I want to help you succeed, but you've just been pissing on my shoes every step of the way. Uh, fine, since you don't want to ally me. What about Uncle Sam? Owns core province, yeah, because of Alaska. Okay. Y'all can go screw yourselves. I'll accept your alliance, Japan. Yeah, I, I think the shift of Asian power has tilted back to Japan right now. 
All right, we're still, all right, we're generating a lot more income now because of the tax efficiency. Let's just keep the tariff rates high for the time being. When I keep it high and then I'll shift it back down um, once we have like a nice little economic cushion so we don't like fall immediately into debt like when we had to uh, pay for that uh, disease outbreak thing. Okay, so now, all right, so the Great Wars now have turned to World Wars where um, basically now if you can just add a whole bunch more stuff for like next to no cost so and you can add a lot more so it's gonna be brutal all right germany's back to being a great power netherlands went down germany managed to surpass the netherlands i'm surprised about that, probably because it's like the damn military thing they've been going on. All right, Israel is at this much. Venezuela, we are still banned from there. Kingdom, you guys could go down to right there. All right, so who should we? Let's influence Krakow. They've been, they need somebody to watch out for them. Let's influence Krakow. And Krakow's adventure in Germany kind of didn't end well. Couldn't get no subsidies. It's just 11 bucks. Yeah. It's gonna be a while until these units recover. Oh wait, actually, let me raise the... We need a stockpile. I forgot, that's probably one reason why they're not recovering. Alright, one of our admirals passed away. Alright, let's head you back down to Crimea. Alright, that's done. Um, two six. Let's go for mass politics right now. Try so we could get another uh thing of a jig. We have what's an alliance offer. Oh, Korea civilized. Uh, it can't hurt. Once it just popped up. Yeah, let's see, this is influencing over here. What is this? Lover exposed. Do 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 do. Politician himself. Okay, so fifty percent more in favor of the free press. Let's get this done. All right, folks. So right now, let's continue with our. Um, that was just weird. All right, <laughs> lover found out. Let's see, where is our politics at? Almost enough to pass another reform soon. All right. Done. Krakow is almost done. We're back to influencing Krakow. So, it's a good relationship with us. We can keep Krakow on the back burner for right now. I want to kind of get Venezuela out of Britain's sphere. And once we get that done, we will continue on with our adventures. Alright. Let's, let's lower the maintenance for just to this percent. You can discredit it. Italy wants another alliance. Uh, 
I, I would just have it as an alliance because I just want to have a power block going on right now. Let's see, where are our alliances at? Alright, it's pretty decent. But I'm going to end this episode off here. Um, right now it's going to be a little bit shorter, but I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Oh, this one is pure niceness.